Students, this pen is tangible. I can touch it. I can smell it. With the cap on, you don't want those dangerous fumes to get you. And uh, it, it's something that I could use if I wanted to help my business. Now, not every asset is tangible. In fact, there are assets that are intangible, meaning that we couldn't touch or feel them. We'll go through a few examples here. A few examples of intangible assets include copyrights, patents, and brands. So if we had a, an excellent brand and a great reputation with that brand, customers might want to prefer our products over other products. That has value. So that's an intangible asset. A patent. If we found a way uh, through our engineering team to create a product and improve it, but we haven't yet executed that vision, well, that idea, that still has value. It's an asset. We'd be able to sell it for money. And then finally, a copyright. Well, a copyright is in the event you created a song or uh, something that is unique to you that gives your company value. So if you created a commercial and you made a little musical jingle for your business, if you want to fix your air conditioner, then call our air conditioning team. Yeah. I mean, that's, you could copyright that. That's, that's a beautiful little jingle right there. You can have that one for free, by the way. But that's an intangible asset because it gives our company value. It actually could be sold at a price. These three are intangible assets, but there is a fourth one, and it's my favorite one. It's called goodwill. All right, and in order to explain goodwill, I'm actually going to need to look at a few transactions. Goodwill occurs when you purchase another company and you purchase that company for a price above what their assets are worth. So it occurs when you purchase another business for a price above the worth of the assets. Okay. All right, and that actually happens all the time. Where you look at another business and you say, you know, they're doing great. I, I wonder if we can acquire them. So that's a, that's a good accounting term, an acquisition. So when we acquire another business, well, we might take a look at their accounting statements and we'll say, you know, I think the fair price for this business is $100,000 because we've taken a look at their balance sheet, assets equals liabilities plus shareholders' equity. And according to their financial statements, their assets are worth $100,000. So the fair price that we think will offer $100,000 to acquire your business, which would include all of their assets. And since this is a negotiation, they come back and they say, well, thank you very much for your offer, but we're not for sale at that price. In fact, to acquire our business, it would cost $150,000. And you say, what? A 50% premium? <sighs> Okay, we really want to buy your business, so we will agree to acquire you at a 50% premium. So what this means is that even though the assets are valued at $100,000, you've agreed to pay $150,000. So let's look at the journal entry that would occur when we bought this business. Here's the journal entry. Okay, well, in order for us to buy this business for $150,000, we're going to need $150,000 of cash. So, <coughs> our 
cash account is going to be, well, if we have our debits on the left, credits on the right, our cash is going to be credited $150,000. Okay, so we have $150,000 credit because that's how much we have to pay to acquire this business. And what we receive in return are $100,000 in assets. So we have assets of $100,000. Oh no, the debits don't match the credits. We are out of balance. Well, the reason that we agreed to pay a 50% premium on this business is because we uh, believe in the long term, the assets might grow in value. It might be a worthwhile acquisition. As a result, we have purchased the goodwill of the company because we believe it will be a good purchase in the future. That's how I remember what goodwill means. So in addition to getting 100,000 in assets, we're also going to get 50,000 of an intangible asset. We can't really touch goodwill. <laughs> goodwill is a thought. Goodwill is a feeling, but goodwill is an intangible asset because we agreed to pay more than the assets were worth. And again, that, that is when you acquire a business at a premium. So intangible assets are assets that have value, but we just can't really touch or feel them. Common examples include copyrights, patents, and brands. But the most interesting one from an accounting perspective is goodwill, because that's when you purchase or acquire a business at a premium. And here's the accounting entries that would go with that. If you paid cash for the business, then you would credit your cash, $150,000, add the assets from the business, but also include an entry for goodwill because you didn't buy $150,000 worth of hard assets, only $100,000. The other $50,000 comes from the goodwill that you believe the business will be worth one day. Thank you. Have a good day.